they're gonna dive the panther here. Oh, the oh. mine. Yeah, 176 goes down. This other one's got to go down here. This pack. Yeah. Hey everyone, welcome back. In honor of the new meta, have an exciting 1v1 featuring the U.S. Special Operations Battle Group today. Playing as the Americans is Senpai Ares, the number 34 ranked U.S. player. And playing as the Wehrmacht is Treads, the number 20 ranked Wehrmacht player. These two have a history of close matches and this one goes right down to the wire. Uh, casting with me today is good old Seppis, my 2v2 partner from Co2 and a really, really strong player in his own right. Uh, as always, links and timestamps in the description below. Uh, hope you enjoy, and with that, we'll roll on to the video. On the north side of the map, we got Treads playing as a Wehrmacht. Treads is a number 20 ranked Wehrmacht 1v1 player, plays a lot of 1v1. Um, and then in the south, we've got Ares playing as a USF. Uh, he's locking in special operations right off the bat. Going with a weasel, a scout, and an engineer. I love the weasel for the capping power. Um, before we get into that, like I guess I told you earlier, I got my boy Seppis here to help me cast this match. Uh, Seppis is a long time player. Yo, um, waking up early in the uh, the European uh, European day to cast this with me, so I appreciate it. Um, yeah. All right. So we got Trez going. He hasn't locked anything in, but he's going for a second Ketten Cry, which I think is interesting. So both players focusing on capping power early in the game. We'll see how that plays out because uh, the Weasley can just get a 30 cal mount and chase down the Ketten Crowd, I think. Yeah, and but then again, the Ketten Crowds can place down mines so they can kite it into a, a mine and kill it. We'll see. But Trez is placing a couple of tripwires on this central fuel here. Meanwhile, <laughs> uh, Ares is doing the same thing, placing some mines with his engineers. So both of them playing uh, very aware of how critical that central fuel is. I I like this from Trez for capping power. I wonder how well it's going to scale into the late game. Um, he's going Grenadiers right away. Grenadiers really strong uh, in this balance patch. Um, and then Ares picking up the rifles. And neither side really in contact yet. We're about to see the first tussle here between the scouts and the cutting crowd. Well, the cutting crowd can just sit there for a while. The scouts are not gonna penetrate it, I don't think. It moves so fast, but the rifles are gonna finally push it off. Then in the center, we've got engineers and grenadiers gonna square off a little bit here. The weasel, he hasn't upgraded the 30 cal on the weasel yet on the uh, the east side of the map. Pioneer's pushing the weasel back. Now the upcoming buff to the engineers, they might do a little bit better in this fight here in the center, but for right now, you guys just content to shoot at each other. And you gotta admire the micro on treads with these kettens. They are still very, very active. <laughs> it's one ketten trying to lay a tripwire right in front of the weasel. Or is that mines? Oh, it's a mine. Oh, he canceled that at the last been, second. That would have been deadly. Yeah. The weasel is getting a 30 cal, so hopefully he's going to push back those uh, Ketten Crots and their insane capping power. Yeah. Wow. Trez is all over the place with these Kettens. It's really hard to keep track of. Meanwhile, in the center, only one Grenadier in exchange for uh, two Engineers. Oh, uh, here's the 30 cal out now. And the Ketten is trying to lay mines everywhere. I think the weasel is a good counter to the Ketten with the 30 cal and the self repair. These pioneers are going to take some damage. Rifles to support, so the pilots are going to retreat. Two Grens in the middle. Um, they'll do a lot of damage to that weasel, especially with the uh, the new snares. Um, so Ares doing a good job trying to fend off, but not doing any permanent damage. And with these two Kettens, Treads has really capped up. Um, and is trapping up most of the map here. Here we go. Rifles in the middle to push the Grenadiers off. Territory point is ours, despite our best effort, huh? Neither player with any real anti-garrison. Um, like no flamethrowers, no mortars. But with a number of mines on the ground, you'd expect them to go for mine sweepers first. So. 
man. I keep wondering, how does Trez have the munitions to be constantly laying mines like this? You have 52 income. That's quite a bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is actually, this is a really high income munitions map. It's got two, the two double points uh, on the east side. Trez is floating a lot of manpower. He's probably going to get Panzer Grenadiers now. Yep. HQ shall be receiving medics to heal our wounded. He ticked up. And the Panzer Grenadiers uh, do even more damage now. They're going to scale really well against the rifles. Um, Area's going for the Minesweeper, so he's starting to catch some of these mines laid by the Kettenkrods. But he only has one Minesweeper squad, and they can't be everywhere. Scout's in trouble here. Grenadiers retreating from the Weasel. You can see, though, that Ares is wary of all of these mines and uh, tripwires because he's not leading with the weasel of these scouts. Here. Really worried about trying to knock down this Ketten crowd, and they might get away with it. Oh, almost. There it goes. One crowd oh, no. goes down. Will the scouts survive? Weasels cover it. They ought to be fine. Yeah, they're, they're going to get fine. away. All right, one crowd's in the back uh, for repairs. Now you've got BARs on the rifleman, which is a decent counter to the Panzer Grenadiers, but what they really need is the second BAR uh, and the veteran C they don't really have yet. Um, or vehicles. Yeah, Ares yeah. is lacking the munitions right now to get multiple BARs. So yeah, yeah. hopefully he's going to get them soon. Second squad of Pigrens coming out now. The Weasel's a good counter to the Panzer Grenadier, so I'm pretty sure the STGs penetrate it just fine up close. Oh, these rifles gotta get out of here. Yep. Oh, and the Grenadier is up close to merge with the Pigrens. That's smart. These rifles are gonna get pushed off as well. Actually, you'd think, but they're doing a good job holding up with the Weasel in support. I think here comes the Panzer Faust under the Weasel. Yep. Ooh. Uh oh. That's gonna hurt. He might not get out of here. Just small arms fire. Good use of the buildings to back up. And scouts coming up to support, but now it's gonna go down. That's a shame. Double vet weasel. Uh, pretty handy. Oh, uh, areas his engineers on the left aren't actually capping. That's that's annoying. More pigrens coming up. Not gonna get the squad on retreat with the second squad in support. Okay. Oh, good. Nice baiting him into the mine. Gonna close down here. Oh, the bundle. Yeah, that's probably oh. the right choice. <laughs> Holy crap, the fuse on that is so short. Pigren's gonna stay. Ares could have had a. He has a mortar pool, and he could have had a Greyhound out now, but he opted for the medic tent, which is right now. Understandable. He's yeah. got a very low, very low health on one of his one of his squads. Yeah, that. What you really don't want is your rifles just melting as soon as they see a Panzer Grenadier. So I, I kind of understand about the medical support. This patch, the like infantry heavy play, feels a lot more viable. Right, you don't necessarily need to rely on light vehicles, especially with upgraded Zooks and the upgraded snares. Really. Oh, here we go. A couple of these trip wires. But Aries going for the counterplay here. Pet. <laughs> Ketten Cry gets double vet. So Ares just trying to kind of recover his territory. At least he was able to kill the one Ketten Cry. Right now is hiding in the back waiting to repair, I suppose. Ooh, these Grens might take a couple casualties on retreat. Mm -hmm. P Grens coming to support, but they're not going to show up anytime soon. Grens get away. Probably. Yeah. Probably hiding in a building or you know, retreat by now. Yeah. Well, he gets vet one. Uh, that here comes the was eight out. rod. Okay, eight rod two. Oh, that bundle. Oh, this rifles are gonna go down. Wow, they were out of the building too. The new bundles, man, they they hit hard. That hurts this commando the squad. Well balanced to deal with the uh, the eight rod here. 8-Rod's still well, really good on retreat, though. Deal we'll see. I think the 8-Rod has a pretty high range, so it can just kite uh, commandos as much as it wants. He's we'll switching to the Johnny guns. 
The P grids are gonna win this. Streets. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Without veteran C, uh, commandos aren't gonna hold up to P grids up close. He needs to regroup and he needs to get that Greyhound or a Chaffee at least. It would really, really help him right now, I think. Yeah. It, it feels like he's just really leaning into the infantry play. Um, oh, the scout. The Pegrin's going for the scout on retreat. They're not going to get it. They, they might go down here. Another bundle. Yeah. You know, another Pegrin engagement. Pour it on them, engage, and this is a pretty, looks like a pretty balanced, oh no, oh no. Wow. <laughs> the rifles are going to get away, so will the Pegrins. Only two, uh, two models left. Not sure, Ares is like, juicing his infantry, man. He, he's like, uh, he, he's moving a lot of, uh, of his models, and then he's basically lacking manpower to get a vehicle out, so I'm not sure whether that's a good idea to just to just strain your infantrymen like that. Yeah. And I think he hasn't tucked grenades, because otherwise he would have snared that 8 rod. Yeah. He's already doubled that. Especially like, uh... Especially like in these unfavorable engagements, like when you just charge an 8 rod, it's not going to... Work well, and it's about two already too. So yeah. he's got the Greyhound out, but that, and, and I kind of understand it. It'll do okay against the eight rod with infantry support. What it'll really do is help a trip some, those Panzer Grenadiers who don't really have a counter to it. Did he go mechanized support? Because he doesn't have a captain out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he might be playing for the the seventy six mil Shermans. Another eight rod out for Treads. Thing. They're oh, doing no. jack shit. And he baits the Greyhound right into the mine. Commandos are here to force the 8-rod oh, back. Oh. At least they can work against Panzer Grenadiers. Hmm. Then on the flank here, these two rifle squads are going to eat up these Grenadiers. Kettenkrad almost goes down to the scouts in the rear. Commandos stay to basically support that Greyhound. He needs, oh, uh, good. So he's yeah. repairing in the center to also capping the fuel at the same time. Yeah, Ares is like lacking fighting units. He's got four, I would say. The two rifles, commandos, and the Greyhound. Threads has, he's got, he's got six. Six fighting units on his side. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, losing that rifle like, squad doesn't, doesn't help. Yeah. The Greyhound. Doesn't have the coax yet, but it does force the pgrens off. I I don't know if you saw the the commandos did the knife throw. I think they need to buff that ability. The whole point of that is to basically kill a model up close to shift the balance of the fight. But it, all all these health buffed units, it doesn't actually kill a model. Yeah. So the pgrens just ate one of them just ate a knife and said okay and shrugged it off. I'm not sure if I've ever used it. It's like a very short range sniper shot, but now it doesn't kill anything anymore. Oh, this 8 rod may go down here. Just one shot from bazookas. Oh, but it, it doesn't go. There's a Chaffee out now, though. So the Chaffee might chase it down, actually. If... Although he's probably gonna lose the Chaffee if he dies right now. Yeah, the Grenadies are there in support with the, uh, the Panzerfaust. Grenadier's gonna douse the Chaffee instead of the Greyhound. But it's not gonna do enough to permanently damage the Chaffee, just stun it. So like you said, like Ares is adapting here, right? He definitely wanted to play really infantry heavy. And he's shifting into a light vehicle build to counter the Panzer Grenadiers and the 8-rods. Which appears to be working, he's getting uh, most of the map, or at least his half of the map back. Um, KD pretty even across the board. He's only down about 100 VP, so there's time yet. This little rifle section that he has uh, off in the east um, is well positioned to kind of force off any of the infantry pushes unless Trez really wants to make a, a determined push. The Trez floating a ton of resources. Um, he could pretty easily start to oh, get yeah. tanks out here. Yeah, these two rifle squads should counter these Pegrens. 
And Trez obviously has gone for the veterancy upgrade, the training upgrade, because the pack deployed and immediately got better at one. Yeah. Okay, can the crowd placing mines down in the middle? So engineers can do more useful work. And with the, uh, yeah, with the crowd and then the pack there, um, have good sight and good range against these vehicles, but Ares making good use of the sight blockers to kind of keep them out of the line of fire. Oh, that Greyhound, if it doesn't move. Alright. It's out of the way. The Pegrins are going to win most of these infantry fights, but there are only two squads of them, and so moving them around the map takes a while. I think he's got these eight rods, but keeping the eight rods cooped up in the center. Um, there we go. They just, they just run up and clear that mine in the middle. Yeah. Ooh. Amazing. Oh, the, the kitten crowd. Who smoked the kitten crowd. I love it. Kathy coming in from the flank to go after these uh, eight rods. Yeah, Ares is slowly regaining control here. He's had a couple of... I don't know if I'd call them trades. Um, a couple of engagements go his way now. And with his light vehicles, and he's got this, I love this, he got this chaffy just poised on the flank. That's bidding his time. My camera's freaking out here. Oh. Here comes the chaffy in. The AT gun is a long way from the, from yep. the chaffy. And the chaffy's protected. Oh man, if Ares had the AT grenades. Alright, AT guns are gonna line up here he's gonna back out and I think he just feels it yeah so he's gonna back the chaffy out a good job kind of moving the uh the eight rods chaffy's still gonna eat around over here pegrins are gonna lose this fight to the greyhound for sure and they're gonna back off the chaffy's gonna limp back and so Ares is doing a good job spreading out treads and so treads has these two eight rods but he's keeping all of his units together Effective for winning engagements, but the problem is Ares is spreading him out. These rifles, they're going to take a bunch of damage on this retreat. Uh, with so many mines down, I wonder if Trez is going to push this. Oh, the commandos and the Chaffee come in to support. Oh. And the Chaffee has to back up immediately. Greyhound back there. That AT gun, he's, double AT gun, he's got to be really careful. Here we go. Here's the big push towards the middle. Ares has an AT gun out now. Another Ketten crowd out for Tread, so he really wants that capping power. White phosphorus grenade with the commandos. You might want to use the raiding flares uh, it's to reveal the map a little bit so he knows where the eight rides are and where the AT, AT guns are. So, yeah. he, so he finds out the, the softest spot in uh, Tretz's line. Yeah, and and so the, they're relatively expensive in terms of munitions for what they do, but he's got the plus 52 munitions income now, so you know he can afford it. Greyhound, great counter to these Pegrins. Gonna push them off the VP here. Alright, and here comes a big infantry push in the center. A second squad of commandos out. Oh, that bundle. It's gonna get oh, away from it. Nice. Mine too. He doesn't bother to merge, and his infantry is just gonna end up retreating. At least soft retreating. Oh, yeah, he's very vulnerable now. I wonder if Ares knows. Uh, so Trez has just unlocked the panther. Yeah, he's just gonna call in, call it in. I think that's that's his play is to wait for the panther and rely on all these bridging units, right? So he he went for the call in version and not the um, headquarters build version. That's an interesting choice. I know we're gonna end up talking about it later, depending on how this match goes. I think Relic has done a good job balancing the call in meta. Um, by allowing people to build and encouraging that tech. Um, tank is ready well, to serve. Here it is, first Panthers on the field. Like 
you know, like you said, Ares, he's rebuilt kind of his army. Now he's got the four infantry squads out, plus the scouts and engineers. I feel like he has, like, a Panther is kind of an interesting choice here. I wonder if, like, a P4 would be better. Because a Panther would deal with the vehicles, but there's so much infantry on the field, especially infantry with anti-tank, that the Panther is not really equipped to deal with. Maybe, maybe Treads is worried about an EZ-8 or a 76mm Sherman coming out. Hmm. Yeah, the Treads doesn't really know. Uh, well, it, <clears throat> of course, what he is, is pl planning. He knows that he went for commandos. But this is a good hmm. double push by Treads here. Uh, Panther and Panzergrens on one side, and now the double eight rod on the other. And the Chaffee is actually taking a ton of damage. It's going to go down here to these uh, eight rods with the rear armor hits. Oh, uh, wrong focus. Oh, uh, with the commandos and the okay. bazookas. Miss. Oh, are these eight rods going to get away? Damn. Oh, this Greyhound is in trouble with these packs. Oh, man. But that was a really good trade for uh for Treads there. Now his Panthers coming in on the flank. Treads his infantry get forced off in the middle, but that's about the only thing that didn't go his way. Panzergren's pinching now from the flank. The Panther in the middle. There's an AT gun out for Ares, but the P Grens are pushing it. Oh yeah, there's like two AT guns now on this side. Oh, and the first shot bounces. Uh, goodbye T gun. No. P Grands versus Commandos here. Really good use of the white phosphorus grenades to try to swing the fights uh, by Ares. They don't do a lot of upfront damage, but they can make it untenable for you to stay in combat. I don't understand how he did this, but Ares somehow basically forced Treads to back up and kind of repair and recover and is able to maintain most of his side of the map. So, pretty good reaction play, even though he lost both of his light vehicles. Yeah, he, he uh, Trent had to retreat all of his units, basically, and he only now has vehicles, so he can't he can't capture that much. Mm -hmm. Although the eight rats can capture because he's got a passive. He's mechanized. Yep. Like maybe he doesn't know that. Maybe many people forget about it. I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure Treads knows. Like if you asked him, he would know. But yeah, he's uh he's not using them. I think he wants to keep them together. I think this is his answer to the infantry heavy play of Ares. Meanwhile, so Ares looks like he's going to get a Sherman out. Um, did he do... Let me see. No, he d it doesn't look like he did the, uh, the 76 mil conversion yet. Maybe he plans on doing it. So you just have a generic Sherman out. Which isn't going to deal well against the Panther. It's going to need support. No. Pegren's advancing and pushing. In the middle, they're going to eat bunch of damage oh my goodness that bundle grenade oh those commandos scouts gonna get run down by this eight these eight rods here we'll see how the show plays out if I oh, his double heart. mine gets an eight rod uh -oh. the scouts do go down German with infantry in the middle doing a bunch of uh, damage Double AT gun on the left side of the map here for Treads. So he's waiting for the Sherman to counterpunch. The Grens do capture the center, but uh, Ares infantry re pushing. Eight rods still doing damage to these engineers here. And Grenadier's going to get pushed off by the infantry in the center, and the Sherman wisely backs up with those two packs in the rear. There yeah, Ares probably felt that he was being uh, baited into pursuing that, like, threat. You see the 8-rod doing a little bit of capping, uh, pops the smoke, and then decides uh, to back up to the safety of the packs. And the AT guns on Ares' side are in bad shape. Yeah. I wonder, so he doesn't have a weapon support center up. I wonder if one going for the, the Zook upgrade. Um, it's a lot of fuel to invest just to get an upgrade on two squads. The other option though, if he builds a weapon support center, he can get a half track out. Just some forward healing and reinforcing of these AT guns. 
Did he just plant a demo charge in the middle? Maybe. I don't see it, but it's possible. Oh, here's the Panther. He, and there he goes. He got the 76 mil upgrade on the, on the Sherman. Hard turning. Ooh. Oh. Bounced off and nearly killed the Pioneers. Anti-infantry loiter coming in to try to protect the AT guns from the, uh, the Panzer Grenadiers. One's going to go down anyway. But this Sherman could do a lot of damage to these P-Grens. They're going to get out. Good use of the anti-infantry loiter. Oh, man. Well, they got the wrong guns out. Yeah. AT guns on the flank hit a mine and infantry start to push them off. Panther's almost fully repaired now. Man, this has been really back and forth. Okay, more commandos for Ares. Guess it really needs elite uh, infantrymen against those consecrators. I think I think that makes sense. I know they need veterans to really scale well, but they're still going to scale better than the riflemen. And with the bazookas, they have a fair amount of utility. Alright, and Dreads is finally gone for the tank depot. The tank depot, okay. That's... Or the tier 4, what I forget. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Panzer no, Army I mean, Command. It's interesting. I, I was expecting him to just spam Panthers all day. He's probably I, going for an anti infantry, maybe a Brumbear or something. Yeah. Makes sense. I got a couple of airplanes flying across my map here, that's kind of funny. There we go, they finally left the screen. Yeah, these rifles actually countering the Panzer Grenadiers fairly effectively as long as they're there together. And that's the downside to the Panther, is it just can't do the anti-infantry damage. Yeah, they're mediocre against infantry. Double AT gun, but the Panther's gonna back away. Infantry gonna chase down the Grens, but not get the kill. Getting caught in the back providing sight for the packs. And here's another infantry push. Going for those AT guns. The Panzer Grenadiers. This Grenadier squad here is getting pinched. Now you've got the Panther and the 8 Rod coming in to support. Oh man. Oh, these rifles are getting pinched now. Still doesn't have the uh, the snares. Still doesn't have grenades tagged. Yeah. No, it tries this 253 fuel. He, he uh, tries only lacks manpower. That's the only downside. That he's got a very expensive army. AT guns here for Treads, trying to clear uh, some of these decrewed AT guns for the Americans. The commandos here hunting this Panther with help of 76 mil Sherman. We'll see. They're gonna recruit the AT gun. Both AT guns. That's interesting. Oh, this is risky. Oh, if he had snares, this engagement would be over. He still might win this. He, does, he still doesn't have them. Oh, oh the, the <laughs> Panther in the 76 trade. Meanwhile, the 8 rod on the flank. But he can't push up too close with those two AT guns and the, the commandos coming out. Wow, that was a wild engagement. All right, and Trez has decided he's going to continue to push this side. He's capping up the center. And now he's uh he's pushing up here on the, it's the west on the map, the right side, on the screen here from from Tred's point of view. Hey, Ares is going for another Sherman. Tred's has unlocked the Vespa and the mechanized assault. Um, just now, mechanized assault really helpful with the repairs and then the the buffs to offense. That's enemy infantry. Commandos in the center hit a mine. Another 76 mil Sherman coming out for uh, for Ares. Yeah. And that knife though, really, really lackluster for the commandos. Nice white phosphorus grenade. Now p are gonna come up to try to change the nature of the fight. Good use of the smoke here to keep the commandos from being able to throw uh, bazookas at them. 
Mm -hmm. Aries does recapture the center. Vespa now out on the field for treads. This is interesting. Vespa. Oh, he's gonna bombard his base. Okay. Makes sense. Or the AT guns. They're also a pretty stark static target. Yeah. 76 mil is gonna beat up these Panzer Grenadiers, but he doesn't realize there are two packs in reserve. And he's gonna start to take some hits. And they oh, took a lot. Oh no, this commandos. Yeah, they're gonna have to back out. There you go, you called it. Uh, bombard, uh, bombardment onto the AT guns. On the flank, this other Panzer Grenadier squad getting pushed off. One AT gun goes down and is destroyed by the Vespa. Man, those Pgrins are taking a lot of damage, but not dropping very many models. Uh, so Ares wins back the far VP, but his push on the west side doesn't go the way he wants. Sherman is uh, snared. The AT guns are going to give a chase. Those commandos are going to be able to push them off. VP is still pretty close. Um, Treads in the lead, 275, but Ares about to cap up get the second. Attack ground through the trees trying to get that Sherman. Oh, these Grenadiers are not going to do well against these rifles. He's going to get him out. But right now, Ares has the VP advantage. He's got two of them. And he's still got some way to go. Uh, some way to go. Yeah. Yeah, using the commander ability on the 8 rod to kind of keep track on things on the side. I think with the investment in the Vespa, um, really it feels like Trez is lacking field presence. His Panzer Grenadiers are powerful, but they're not trading as well as you'd like with the Allied Infantry. Okay, the Vespa is shooting in the building. It's kind of a wasted barrage there. I. I think the difference now, right, you got the 76 mil Sherman and you've got three commando squads, which are good generalist units, so these bios go down to the engineers. Meanwhile, everything Treads has is very specific, right? Because you're going to do is good against infantry, 8 rods good against infantry, Panther good against vehicle. Um, so Ares is able to do well enough in every engagement because he has a bunch of generalist units that he's clawing back this map control. Whereas I, I feel like... Go ahead. Uh, another Panzer out with his He still has a lot of resources and just lacks the manpower to yeah. do anything. Well, and Ares is starting to really turn the KD in his favor, which is one of the reasons Trez is lacking manpower. Yeah, Ares is not floating any resources, I would say. He's, he's spending it all. Yep. To include his munitions. But he's still got that plus 52, which is helpful. The Panther is driving through the middle here, looking for the 76 mil Sherman, but he's not going to find it. Oh, that's very close. Let's turn his back, too. Yeah, Trez is going to end the triple cap here. Still no snares for Ares. Oh, that's a shame. A second 76 mil Sherman, though. And with the AT guns in support and the Zooks on the commandos. We have ready to be deployed. Uh, the, the commandos need to retreat. Yeah. Or, you know, just cancel buildings. Yeah, but with that bundle, you gotta be really careful. So the Tread's not. doesn't have anywhere near as many munitions as he did early in the game. This town keeping the Panther out of the fight. The Vespa's gonna hit the Sherman, do a lot of damage to the rifles. Oof. Oh, the infantry goes down to the Vespa after the bundle. But they're gonna dive the Panther here. Oh, the oh. mine. Yeah, 176 goes down. This other one's gotta go down here. This pack. Anti infantry loader not in time. Both 76s go down. Commandos coming in though, they're gonna put a lot of pressure on this AT gun. Probably, and there it goes, one AT gun down. Bazooka's out, what are they looking for? Ares can still turn this, you know. Yeah, he just picked up this pack, which is a great, great get for him. 
Uh, Tread's now back on the triple cap, though, so Ares in BP trouble. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the Panther's lucky that shot bounced. There, he's going to take back the center, but losing that rifle squad. Now he's only got one left. Uh, one rifle squad not anywhere near as good against Panzer Grenadiers as two together. Oh, the AT gun sneak up and kill the Vespa. I missed it. Uh, the units exchanging grenades in the, the east, and then they're both going to retreat. Oh, man. Yeah, Ares really needs to get, get onto a point. Yeah. Both of the points, preferably. Or the A-Trat is going to lock down the eastern one. Yeah, but these rifles are going to win this fight against the Grenadier. It's just a matter of whether or not they can cap soon enough. The Grens do retreat, and I think they're going to go down here. Yep, yep they do. Pioneer is coming to contest, but it looks like Ares is going to get at least two of these VPs back. Commando is going to contest this 8 rod. Ooh. You well, see, this, this is a. Yeah, th this is a. Uh, they're playing against time now, basically. Yeah. I mean, Ares is mostly, but, you know. <laughs> Engineers with the BAR? Yeah, he's got Sherman out now. He's going to throw it down the middle, probably. He's just got to make sure he holds on to two of these VPs no matter what, because I don't think he can recover from losing control of one again. Another 8 rod out for Treads. Yeah, he really needs a capping power Treads now. Yep. He's gonna cap with an 8 rod probably. Um, these rifles here are in trouble against the Panzer Grenadiers and with Grenadier support. Oh, the these Panzer Grenadiers died just now. To the 76 mil in the center? Yeah. 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 Alright, so Ares is gonna give up, looks like, one VP. On the west and then potentially here in the east to these double eight rods 76 is going to contest but this is this is going to come this is going to be tight treads his army yeah. composition is not looking super healthy but all he has to do is whittle away 11 more vps we'll see how it goes for aries oh it's okay. kind of far far away from both of the vps right there yeah oh the 76 could go down to the panther here But both are going to back up. Ares is going to hold on to the center here with his uh, commandos. Man, Treads is going <laughs> to... He's got the cap on. These engineers are not going to be able to cap that side. One 8-rod goes down. Yeah, okay, we'll see. He's tr it, Treads is trying to capture the center. Ares is going to be able to hold that. Oh, the oh. Panther goes down to the AT guns. And the Commandos... He, de he, de he decapped it. He decapped it with one point left. Oh my god. And the Commandos are going to cap it up. And Treads is down to two squads. Is that a Commando ability? He captured it extremely quickly. That's the, uh, the uh, assault operation ability. Oh. Yep. 200% capture, decapture. Wow. Wow. And Tred's gonna throw in the GG. Signal the retreat. It is Holy on. cow. I did not see that one coming. All right, everyone, uh, we're back. So, wow, uh, kind of an epic match going down to a single VP. So really, really impressive. Uh, as always, what I'm gonna do is start kind of going over the build order, uh, and then we'll kick it over to Sepis for, for his take in the post-match review here. So first off, you had Ares who locked in the Special Operations Battle Group right away. So he started with the Scout, called in a Weasel, uh, got an Engineer out, and then three Rifle Squads into the Mechanized Support Center with the BAR Tech Upgrade. And then he started focusing on Commandos and then Light Vehicles. So first squad of Commandos, Greyhound, Chaffee, a couple AT guns, two more Commando Squads, and then you started to see the 76 mil Shermans come out. For Treads, uh, he didn't really choose a group right away, ended up going Mechanized Battle Group. He started with a Pioneer, Two Kettenkrods, which really effective for overall map control in the beginning. Two Grenadiers uh, straight into the Panzer Grenadier headquarters. Two Panzer Grenadiers out. Two 8-rods. Uh, a couple of Pack 38s And then the call-in Panther. Uh, he eventually got a, a Vespa, a Vespa, sorry, 
uh, an eight, another eight rod, and another panther out uh, before the game finally tilted away from him. So, um, with that, you know, I, I think my first takeaway, and and Seth, we were talking about this during the game, right? It, it looked like Ares mm. really wanted to play an infantry heavy build at the start, and he when he saw the Panzer Grenadiers and the eight rods come out, which are still pretty anti infantry. He pivoted into the light vehicles, and I think that saved him in the middle of the game. Um, what did you see? Mm, in the beginning, the Ketten, the double Ketten Kraut here helps. Uh, I'm going to start from, from the beginning, though. Uh, it, it here helps with your capping power, uh, but it doesn't scale well into the mid-game, I think. It's kind of vulnerable, and if a light vehicle comes out and sees a Ketten Kraut, it might, it's, just, it's just toast. But they can lay mines all over the map, too, so it's, it's neat. Uh, with the double eight rads that we saw, yeah, they they can knock down infantry pretty fast, and if they are really far away, they can uh, they can just shoot, 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 and uh, if you don't have an AT gun or a or a vehicle to counter them, they're just gonna uh, they're just gonna grind you down and your infantrymen. Yeah, I mean, so with the eight rods, right? Where I see them be really deadly is on retreat before Symmetry Squad to retreat, and then they whittle them down on the way. Um, I think both these guys play each other quite a bit, because um, you saw them both laying mines aggressively early on. Mm -hmm. And so I think that was kind of an initial counter to the eight runs, right? Like, Treads isn't willing to dive with them, because he knows Ares is going to throw mines everywhere on retreat, and he doesn't want to lose them just trying to chase down a squad. So while they were really effective early, they didn't get the wipes that you see normally kind of like throw a game one way or the other. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, it was interesting that he didn't dive that much. If uh, Ares did a good job of just uh, having that distance between his men and the eight rats with the commandos, because if you have the commandos, they cannot really chase down retreating infantrymen, which I usually find myself uh, uh, being on the receiving end, end of that, just an eight rat chasing down my retreating infantry, and oh, well... Goodbye, infantry squad. So he managed to... I did not see that at all, so good job on the commandos there. They really prevent the eight rat from chasing down uh, squads. Yeah, you know, I see this... This match feels kind of like a battle between, like, specialists and generalists, right? Like, if I had to sum it up. So on the U.S. side, you know, because initially you had the rifles with the BARs, and that's a very anti-infantry build, especially without the snares. But going for the commandos, right, where you can, you'll do okay against the Panzer Grenadiers, but then against vehicles, you just pull out the bazookas and you do some damage. Um, and then the 76 mil Shermans, the Greyhound, everything that Ares had kind of building up his army uh, could be used anywhere, right? So he's going out and he's trying to cap the map. If an eight rod comes in, he can push it off. If a single squad of Panzer Grenadiers comes in, he can push it off. Um, and so, meanwhile, Treads has got either strong anti-infantry units like the Pegrans and the eight rods or strong anti-vehicle units with the pack and the panther and as he's moving around like it, it almost felt like Ares is like rocky right he's just taking body blows left and right but you can't knock him down um and so he's just kind of spreading out the map and he is able to hang in there long enough to to win a couple of big engagements and then start to turn the army composition battle in his favor and you saw that even when he was down to like 75 vps the kd started to really swing for him and like mm -hmm. you pointed out multiple times, like Treads just really lacked manpower. He was getting bled quite a bit. Um, and so he had all the fuel in the world, but it didn't matter because he couldn't get the vehicles up. Yeah, uh, Treads should have just perhaps be more conservative, be more... They were uh, like throwing infantrymen at each other without any sort of uh, any sort of aim, you know, just to hold the line and the models start dropping then and then you have to reinforce it, which costs... Uh, for Panzer Grenadiers, I'm not sure how expensive they are, but... It, probably made a difference I mean, that, that he was losing them so so much yeah if you're if you're treads what do you do differently right do you go for p4s instead of panthers do you go for brumbear um mm. like what, what do you think what could have turned it for him i don't usually do the panther uh usually when i see like uh like oh man this guy's got two vehicles out and i'm behind so I'm, I'm probably gonna go for the panther because it's not a very good anti-infantry. It's all right anti-infantry, but it's not great. So, so he was facing a lot of infantry. I would have probably gone for a, like Stoss or a Brombeer and just 
we did not see any MG42 or anything like that, which probably would have helped a little bit. Yeah, that's. I was thinking that too. Maybe a, sin, a single MG. You know, Ares is good with using the white phosphorus grenades with the commandos, but a single MG just to with that initial suppression to kind of turn an engagement for you uh, and force them to yeah. kind of back up. May, maybe it makes a difference. Um, yeah, I could go either way. The Panther, I don't really have success with it, but I'm also not as good as these guys. Um, mm. So I think, I, you know, if it's me, I mean, maybe P4, but... Um, I mean, even if the commandos manage to smoke the MG42, MG42 at a distance, uh, they just wasted, like with the Willy Pete, they just wasted 30 munitions that were just to use for concealment. Yeah, just making your opponent waste thirty munitions on uh, uh, concealment. Yeah, I think yeah, like don't be don't be afraid to to side tech or back tech or grab a machine gun, especially with all the infantry that that Ares had on the field at the end there. Um, think about like one machine gun preventing suppressing those commandos, keeping them from decapping that point. Um, that that maybe flips this game. But uh, Sep, great having you on. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching with me. Um, Ares treads phenomenal game. Uh, I hope you guys keep playing each other and sending them to us because uh, that was pretty epic. Except we're going to call it here, man. All right. See you guys. All right. Yeah. See you all in the next one.